Let us pray. God, our Heavenly Father, we are grateful to you and we thank you for the gift of our lives, for this day, for this moment, and most of all for this noble institution, KNUST, and our dear graduates. We are so much grateful to you, especially for this noble institution, for 70 years of global impact and also a renewed focus for our lives. We are so much grateful to you for the authority, leadership and management, and also staff of this noble institution. We thank you for how far you have protected, guided and kept all of them safe and brought up them about at this moment. We continue to grant them also into your care that you continue to bless and reward and provide for them, giving them all the graces that they need to be able to continue the good work you have begun in them. We thank you especially for this opportunity you have given to our dear graduates to have themselves educated and trained in this noble institution. We thank you for your guidance and protection and for seeing them through the difficulties and challenges of academic life and for bringing them successfully. We thank you and we are so much grateful to you. We are also grateful to you for all the stakeholders, the benefactors and sponsors, and all friends and loved ones of this university and all those who have had a hand in their training and education. We pray you, O oh Lord, that they will continue to experience your protection, your love and care in their life. We thank you for Jenny Mercies and for your graces and for gathering all of us to witness this great day in the life of these, your sons and daughters. We continue to entrust this graduation ceremony into your care, that you will send your Holy Spirit upon us to inspire and to direct us so that you will grant us a fruitful, successful, and inspiring graduation ceremony. May our joy be complete in you. Continue to shower your blessings upon each and every one who was witness in this great day in our life. May we all experience your daily protection, your love and care in our lives. Continue to grant us a fruitful and a successful ceremony. We ask all these to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. By the powers conferred on me as chairman of the Governing Council of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi, I, Ambassador Nana Ifa Apentin, declare this assembly duly constituted.
the vice chancellor pro vice chancellor registrar provost of the college of arts and built environment college registrar deans faculty registrars heads of department lecturers distinguished guests parents fellow graduates ladies and gentlemen i must say that i'm truly honored to be given this great opportunity to stand before you on the 55th graduation ceremony of our prestigious university as a representative of arguably the most remarkable students that have ever passed through this university the class of 2021 a group of individuals phenomenal and exceptional in their own unique ways before i proceed spare me some time to express my profound gratitude to all who made it possible for us to be where we are today to all friends and loved ones who were always there for us encouraging us i say thank you to lecturers supervisors and guides who disciplined and directed us i say thank you to parents guardians and relatives who toiled day and night just to make sure our journey was smooth and comfortable i say thank you so much for putting up with our attitudes along the way we are eternally grateful my greatest appreciation goes to god who has kept us and brought us to a joyful end today as we close this chapter of our lives i am filled with a cacophony of emotions of joy sadness and relief of joy because we have successfully made it thus far of sadness because we may never meet some of our friends again and of relief because no more impromptu quizzes i cannot help but recollect memories that were created over the past 4 years some fun others not so fun days when we had to redo assignments that only required the simple task of drawing lines on a sheet of paper honestly honestly how difficult could drawing a line be and there were days of fun like when we had to sing a popular local highlife song in english ostensibly to end some marks and our lecturer even offering to assist by playing the beats i also remember serious moments when a few seconds delay to a class or a simple gesture of yawning could land one outside the class for the entire period these are fond memories we may never experience again not only do i recall events but i also remember some amazing people with strong personalities that i had the privilege of meeting the one who lost a dear one along the way but still pushed on the one who encountered a misfortune which cost him a year of delay and a deferment of the program i also met the student who had to make ends meet while trying to focus on academic work i met the business moguls as well as the student politician who refused to give up on their dream no matter the setbacks and many others like these in the world of maya angelou We delight in the beauty of a butterfly but rarely admit the changes it has gone through to achieve that beauty. And so as we celebrate our graduates today, let us also celebrate their untold stories that have been hidden by their merry faces. As I come to the end of my speech, I would like to leave the graduating class of 2021 some random suggestions that may be of help or maybe not. As we begin another phase of our lives, My first suggestion is to take life one step at a time. A friend captures this in these words. Though Rome was not built in a day, there were laying blocks every hour. So daily, work towards achieving your dreams till they become a reality. Another suggestion is to give yourself a break. With all the pressures that come along with adulthood, it is easy to get caught up in the rat race, doing things just to impress. On the contrary, Make sure you do what brings you fulfillment. It could be a sport, playing an instrument, or going horse riding and the like. My third suggestion is to find your spot in rain. Albert Einstein says it this way: Everyone is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing it is stupid. So instead of comparing ourselves with others, let us find what we are good at and let's do the best we can. Finally, let us not look down on anyone. Let us not forget where we come from and where we are going. Let us celebrate the little wins, even the little things that do not seem to matter. Let us be grateful for them. Class of 
A very big congratulations to us all. Let us go out there, make our families, university and nation proud. Thank you. The Chancellor, Your Royal Majesty Otunfo Osei Tutu II, Chairman and members of University Council, Vice Chancellor, Faculty, Registrar, Provost of Colleges, Members of Convocation, Senior and Junior Staff, Class of 2021, Ladies and Gentlemen. I am grateful to the College of Art and Built Environment for giving me the privilege to share some thoughts with the graduates on this very special occasion. I recall with fondness the overwhelming sense of excitement, accomplishment and high hopes that accompanied my own graduation day from this college, a bit from a very much smaller faculty then, exactly 20 years ago. I dare say it is the best feeling for any student who has successfully gone through years of rigorous academic work. The thought of standing here today in this capacity would have seemed impossible to me nearly 25 years ago when I entered the gates of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology to study what was then the Bachelor of Science in Building Technology, two months after losing my dad and coming to Kumasi for the second time from my village of Nandom in the Upper West region. The first time to Kumasi was two months earlier when I came to write the university entrance exam. As I reflect on my progress since then, the words of Eric Donaldson's song, Land of My Birth, rings in my ear. For some people may say, we are poor, but the progress we make, my friends, is not always how rich we are. Remember, therefore, that there are no limitations on how far you can go. I am confident that your education in this great college of art and built environment, which is certainly more enriched than what I received over 20 years ago, prepared you for the real world. What is the real world, you may ask? I can tell you one thing. The answer to that question is not necessarily found in any book you have read during your time here. Some of you here today, like me, will be graduating with first class honors and distinctions, and others will be graduating with other classes. I congratulate you all for your achievements. But the honest truth is that the class you graduate with in itself does not guarantee you will excel in this globalized and digitalized world. The ongoing digital transformation in the world means you are competing with everyone across the world as there are no more boundaries to job market or limitations to entrepreneurial opportunities. You have all heard the stories of very successful people in Ghana and across the world who do not even have a first degree. This doesn't in any way dim the importance of what you have achieved academically not in the least. In fact, I commend you all for all you've been able to achieve and sticking with and persevered and stuck with throughout all the challenges and difficulties uh, that you have encountered throughout your studies here. And you need to develop your personal, your professional, as well as your practical capacity to learn or learn sometimes and to adapt and reinvent yourself constantly as much as possible in this ever-evolving world. Be creative, show dynamism, question things, don't take no for an answer, and most importantly, be your own voice critic. Never settle for just enough. Always push yourself to be more. Mistakes are proof that you are trying. Don't be afraid to make them. And when you get tired, don't stop. Stop when you are done. My friends and soon to be a fellow alumni of this great institution, your real world education therefore begins today. You must therefore be lifelong learners where the real world is your classroom. Be assured that you are well on the road to becoming the productive graduates and citizens that we are all anticipating to see. Today, I see in front of me a collection of brilliant minds that have acquired knowledge in fields of architecture, building technology, planning, land economy, communication, design, painting, sculpture, rural and industrial art, and publishing studies. 
And it is time for you to go out and make this world a better place for all of us. Use your education to pursue a life of significance to benefit mankind. My advice to you, therefore, is to continue to think outside the box and pursue innovation in solving life's problems. You have been prepared enough to not just expect to be employed, but to build businesses that create jobs and wealth. There are enough problems in the world from climate change, housing, poverty, technology, just to mention a few, to occupy you in finding innovation solutions to transform society. Choose your grand challenge and dedicate yourself to it and, the, and a life of service to mankind. I was reminded recently that my goal as stated in the class of BT 2001 graduation book was that I hope to be the head of department of what was then the Department of Building Technology in 2020. This was a modest goal, but one that set me on a path of being an academic. It therefore seems from where I am today that I may have overachieved that goal. One might even say that I've arrived. If one looks at the end result, it will seem like a perfect story almost as if this happened overnight. You should not be under any illusion that the road ahead of you will always be smooth. You are going to face a range of challenges, some of which will seem insurmountable. But throughout, you will find a solution within yourself. I've had my fair share of loss, rejections, and disappointments. From loss of financial support, to not getting scholarships I applied for and thought I deserved, to not getting jobs I applied for and thought I was overqualified for. I worked on construction site during vacations to sustain myself in my time uh, at KNUSD. And the experiences from that, that have shaped me uh, from that time on to this day. Standing here today, however, I am exhibit A that you can overcome the loss, the rejections, and the disappointments and succeed in life. My slogan has always been, all shall pass. As I reflect on my progress so far in life, I see a significant place for goals and plans. You must decide what your path will be or what you want your path to be and pursue it with all your might and resources. But you must be prepared to amend that path when presented with alternative and viable alternatives. You must take risks, move out of your comfort zones and experiment. As a project management expert, I see my life as a project and I therefore apply the principles of project management in managing my goals and plans. In an age of social media, instant messages and fake news, we have been programmed to expect quick results and quick success. The real world doesn't work like that. Things take time, and they take time to, if you want to build things that will last. The endangered quality in today's world is therefore patience. Therefore, let me end by congratulating you once again on your remarkable achievement. Your efforts along with the encouragement and support of management, your parents, families, lecturers, friends have brought you this far. Never take this opportunity you have been given for granted. Always bear in mind that you are privileged. A selected few, an elite group of individuals. Hold your head high and carry yourself with pride that you have passed through the College of Art and Built Environment and therefore the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. I therefore wish you all the best in your future endeavors and congratulations once again. Thank you very much.
Oh yeah, yeah, we hear yo. Oh yeah, yeah. Ah yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I say. Ni papa. No one remember our structure so on China dear. I feel you know. No, see our structure me ban away day. Was it Nana? Obano am passing, Obano on your idea. There is no royal road to geometry. Mathematics in your system. I just hear yeah, I just hear yo. Oh, I just hear ya. I just hear ya say. I'm sorry. What man tell me? I 
Thank you. Chairman and members of the University Council, Vice Chancellor, past Vice Chancellors and Pro Vice Chancellors, Pro Vice Chancellor, Registrar, Provost of Colleges, Deans and Directors, Heads of Department, Members of Convocation, Representatives from our affiliate institutions, Nananom, Alumni of the University, Senior and Junior Staff, Graduating Class of 2021, Parents and Guardians, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. On behalf of the Chairman and members of the Governing Council, the Vice-Chancellor, Management and the entire staff of this great institution, it is my pleasure to warmly welcome all our graduates and esteemed guests who are with us this morning through the virtual platform to the first day of our 55th Congregation Ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's Congregation is the third in series since the University moved from in-person to virtual congregation because of the outbreak of the deadly coronavirus pandemic and its ramifications. It is therefore important to note that the pandemic is still with us and as a university with over 80,000 and 3,000 students and staff respectively, we cannot let our guards down. It is very unfortunate that we cannot have our students gather nicely and neatly dressed to celebrate them in person for the trials and hard work they have demonstrated to reach this far. I wish to appreciate our graduates for the role they played in the adherence to all the COVID-19 safety protocols since the outbreak of the pandemic resulting in a successful academic year. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a delight to inform you that the College of Arts and Both Environment is presenting a total of 1,240 graduates this morning. This is made up of 783 males representing 63.15% and 457 females representing 36.85%. Of this number, 155 are graduating with first class honors representing 12.5%. 813 representing 65.56% second class honors upper division, 264 representing 21.9% second class honors lower division, and 8 representing 5.45% pass. This year, the overall best graduating student in the college comes from the Department of Publishing Studies, who also happens to be our valedictorian for this congregation. She is in the person of Miss Jocelyn Sumua Boating, who read a four-year program leading to the BA Publishing Studies degree and obtained a cumulative weighted average of 77.64. Ladies and gentlemen, with respect to student enrollment in the college for the academic year under review, that is the 2020-2021 academic year, undergraduate student numbers increased from 2,091 to 2,712 which is 29.7% increment relative to 2019-2020 academic year. The BSc Architecture Program is being reviewed to enhance the components of green architecture, sustainability, and climate in the program. The proposal, when approved by the Academic Board, is to be implemented in the 2021-2022 academic year. A Master in Landscape Architecture Program is being considered by the Planning and Resource Committee of KNUST. The introduction of the program is in response to the need for qualified experts in landscape design in the country. The Department of Architecture has also submitted four new programs for consideration, namely BSc and MSc Interior Design, MSc in Building Performance, and BSc Architectural Technology. These initiatives 
are designed to provide options at the intake level at year one and to feed the professional programs at the graduate level. The Department of Architecture has received approval to run its MSc and MPhil programs aside the regular stream on weekend basis to make it easier for interested personnel to enroll and progress in their fields. Some initiatives in the college. Under the sponsorship of the Honorable John Kuma and MP and Deputy Minister of Finance, the college instituted the Builders Ideas Challenge during the year under review. Three students were supported financially by the Honorable Minister to kickstart their ideas and realize their dreams. The winners were rewarded with 12,000, 8,000 and 5,000 Ghana cities respectively. It is envisaged that this ideas challenge leads to a periodic state of the nation's built environment report series as a means of contributing towards sustainable development goals of the United Nations. To this end, wider collaborations with the metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies is in the process. Ladies and gentlemen, KNUST is 70 years since its inception and has churned out many graduates who are dotted all over the world, impacting lives and society. To celebrate this milestone, the university has launched the 70th anniversary, which is a year-long celebration. The theme for the 70th anniversary celebration is KNUST 70 Years of Global Impact, a new age for a renewed focus. I am delighted to inform you that the university has lined up some activities for the celebrations, which include public lectures, exhibitions, and alumni homecoming. The Global Alumni has also lined up some activities for the anniversary, including the institution of an endowment fund dubbed 70 at 70 Alumni Levy, a throwback night to share great fun moments on campus. Katanga Unity Alumni Roundtable Convo and Alumni Faculty Industry Activities. Please join the Global Alumni after your graduation and participate in these activities. Some words of appreciation. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, I wish to express my sincerest appreciation to a few of our stakeholders who have been of immense support to the college due to lack of time. Gassem Ghana Limited has been of immense assistance culminating in the Department of Architecture, Construction Technology and Management in collaboration with others designing a mobile van for cement, which was launched a few weeks ago. Honorable John Kuma MP has been acknowledged earlier as financing the Builders Ideas Challenge. Mr. George Rekubobe also deserves special mention for volunteering 5,000 seedlings for the college that were all planted as part of the Greening Ghana Initiative. Professor Divine Kweku Ahaji of the Center for Settlement Studies was adjudged the winner of the Emerald 2020 Real Impact Award, while our renowned artist, Mr. Ibrahim Mahama, was honored with the 2020 Prince Klaus Awards. To my able and dedicated staff of the college, I am truly grateful for your support. It is through your sacrifices and efforts that we were able to bring the semester to a successful end. Words of advice to my graduates. Now, I would like to say a few words to my special graduates. First and foremost, on behalf of both academic and non-academic staff in the college, I say congratulations. I want you to know that you have been trained in one of the best institutions in the world, KNUST, and from the best college in KNUST. You have been taught by excellent faculty in the various departments. Therefore, we are happy and proud to send you today as graduates, but more importantly, as ambassadors of this great college. As ambassadors, know that you represent us and therefore you cannot fail. You have a responsibility and a duty to excel and to lift up the name of the college and the university. I wish to entreat you to live by the core values of KNUST for it is upon this that we train you. Therefore, get your loins with these values and the world would hold you in high reverence. On a special day as this, 
as the purpose of the college, I choose to bless my special graduates. I ask God to fill you with the knowledge of His will, with all the wisdom and understanding that His Spirit gives, so that you will be able to live as the Lord wants and will always do what pleases Him. Graduates, go out and do exploits. Chairman of Council, with your permission, I call on the Provost, College of Art and Built Environment, to present the candidates who have fulfilled the requirements for the award of degrees to be admitted to the said degrees. Chairman of Council, I have the honor and privilege to present to you graduates of the College of Art and Built Environment, all of who have fulfilled the requirements for the award of a degree to be admitted to the said degrees. By the powers conferred on me as chairman of the governing council of this university, I, Ambassador Nana Ifa Apintin, formally admit you to the respective degrees of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi. Graduates, Aiko. College of Art and Built Environment, BA Communication Design. Advertising and Media Management, First Class Adochim Millicent Anale Aboloso Anderson Henry Ainu Laurentia Apiad Anthony Divine Emil Asari Darkun Kezia Bart Minla Samuel Zan Mary Claire Surimaya College of Art and Built Environment BA Communication Design Advertising and Media Management Second Class Upper Division EJ Saki Kwame Ankobia Benedicta Efwa Mensua Brown Nicolina Dako Dadzi Nana Bafo for St. Joseph Nana Kofi Adom Betty Edward Hansen Maud Lecha Mildred Efoy Yaya Nyaku Roland Frimpong Obeng Boating Grace Ewa Obo B. Juliet Ekumbia Opong Gajisberg Ampoma Quay John Sapon Doka Sabina College of Art and Built Environment BA Communication Design Film and Animation First Class Adu Kwe Emmanuel Edu David Ejare Deborah Durwa Amate Fio Shirley Amoko Ankoma Charles Kofi Apia Kingsford Apia Afumi Manuela Tutua Asante Michael Yurenchi Ba Michael Beidu Edgar Jeffrey Kwesi Bimpon Nicholas Boating Felix Bachman Mary Esel Emmanuel Kobna Kumsin Benedict Kwesi Lomote Ni Akwete Lomote Ni Oko Menya Ama Modwana Osei Michael Ousu Kofi Emmanuel Ousu Redu Emmanuel Ziu Prince Walanyo College of Art and Built Environment BA Communication Design Film and Animation Second Class Upper Division Aban Abigail Echampoma Adam Mohamed Zakia Adonting Barbara Afari Prince Osei Afo Eko Norte Agbeli Deborah Mausi Ejei Amira Akapo Samuel Kweku Apo Sylvia Akrofi Mercy Siedua 
Ampof Ebenezer Ampoma Russell Hagan Amuzu Dixon Esene Kofi Anochi Michael Kofi Apeti Israel Derek Asante Kelvin Ajekum Esie Du Selene Oforiwa Ama Beidu Akosia Yirinchua Bwamponsem Ekeje Wa Bwachi Yadom Joseph Dankwa Andrea Nanaikia Dawson Edward Devier Daniel Danso Dradosi Israel Nunya Frimpon Daniel Kweku Frimpon James Japon Gamedeku Kwame Salasi Crunchy Lovelace Newman Kelvin Nico Anan Benjamin Noi Tete Miriam Na Niyama Edu Kelvin Obing Bernis Adum Opari Augustin Tete Opoku Kwachi Samuel Opong Florence Ya Dokua Opong Godwin Owuswe Friye Opong Jan Madeline Albright Ose Emanuela Ose Nana Kwame Buedu Kwansa Lydia Evelyn Kwansa Peter Kumi Kote Kelvin Emmanuel Semehia Elinam Taki Wendolin Grasita Tiekwa Tamaklo Eji Michael Tete Michael Papani Tei Doimu Isaac Ajete Wemega Wisdom Williams Nana Ama Safwa Zachary Ismael College of Art and Built Environment BA Communication Design Film and Animation Second Class Lower Division Atakra Samuel Bwache College of Art and Built Environment BA Communication Design Visual Communication First Class Ajay Petra Afeni Charity Aganeba Thomas Ayele Sune Bentum Abigail Erabna College of Art and Built Environment BA Communication Design Visual Communication Second Class Upper Division Akun Ebenezer Kojo Afram Atrams Kwame Ansa Frimpon Janelle Hayfron Johnson Mode Vanessa Elom Ofori Ado Elsie Opare Pell Abna College of Art and Built Environment BA Communication Design Visual Communication Second Class Lower Division Donko Padmond College of Art and Built Environment BA Industrial Art First Class Agri Ishmael Etitianti Isaac Na Ata Abdul Mutalib Ba Echamfuo Ferkid Boating Chei Mary Pra Lucy Sakifio Karen Na Afale Tekpete Emmanuel Malfemo Yeboa Samson College of Art and Built Environment BA Industrial Art Second Class Upper Division Echampon Clinton Ejapong Edmond Kofi Adum Melvin Edusa Godwin Abrokwa Ajikum Abna Bwachiwa APJ Samuel Asempapa Richard Kwesi Atipu Koku Mauli Plim Bafo Davis Abeku Bentum Ignatius Akom Mensa Bwache Ansa Kelvin Botre Corinne Dowuna Elvis Ninoy Duka Francisca Xavier 
Jandu David Jeche Precious Heman Suzanne Nana Honu Jules Kofi Kwabia Bwahen Emmanuel Mensa Jesse Abraham Mohammed Ahmed Zainab Inti Doreen Inti Maureen Osafu Kantanka Abubakar Zomelo Edwina Elom College of Art and Built Environment BA Industrial Art Second Class Lower Division Brobe Duku Derek Jeu Prince Opoku Wagner Emanuela College of Art and Built Environment BA Integrated Rural Art and Industry First Class Ado Maxwell Aite Ni Ado Vanessa Adwa Frema EJ Rose Mensa Edu Yebwa Elizabeth Erama Ethel Amelima Francis Pascal Kabla Bempa Grace Bating Seto Heming Dapa Deborah Jima Bernardine Biao Hutton Wood Augusta Mama Gabriel Marque Mate Sandra Mensa Sarah Atta Ofori Edward Ousu Emmanuel Tete Betha Tutu Brimpong Unity College of Art and Built Environment BA Integrated Rural Art and Industry Second Class Upper Division Echampon Francisca AJ Richard Akuno Esther Juliet Ankuma Prince Ansa Prisla Araba Arthur Francisca Aite Winifred Asamoa Eric Asari Emmanuel Brafo Samuel Yao Kofi Angela Akonua Cosmos Della Vincent Damte Franklin Yao Asamoa Donfe Atta Richmond Jury Henry Efriye Henaku Dokas Adumbia Henson Joseph Clement Lamte Abednego Ni Lankwe Noboji Edem Pa Kwesi Nyako Clara Odrue Isi Jennifer Opong Menu Richmond Ousu Akon Jacqueline Saki Jacqueline Dede College of Art and Built Environment BA Publishing Studies First Class Apia Ajman Michael Bano Jasmine Aduma Boateng Joycelyn Sumwa Gentia Ajwa Efriye Opon Pring Safo Otio Boateng Akumaya Kwe Roberta Na Kale Tete Sandra Raquel Na Afoko Chumesi Kofi Emmanuel College of Art and Built Environment BA Publishing Studies Second Class Upper Division Abdullah Mohamed Iwana Amwa Boris Kusi Ampong Blessing Catherine Amuzu Steven Senior Ansa Frimpong An Apia J. Quinn Bula Efriye Apia Randolph Asan Abba Banahini Okra Emmanuel Beku Emmanuel Boa Bing Jacob Rema Boache Derek Kofi Boa Kofi Nathaniel Kofi King Dylan Daku Elvis Esiedu Che Bafo Benjamin Mousy Clinton Stephen Mensa Richard Insia Samuel Nyadu Ado Gerald Benedict Ofori Mark Opon Dorinda Amponsa Osei Edith Frimpoma Osei Kitson Nyame Osei Entry Junior Oting Porsche Aduma Salifu 
Motiti Farouk, Sapong Michael, Teria Rachel Lanko, Yamwa Nana Akumia Boating, College of Art and Built Environment, BA Publishing Studies, Second Class, Lower Division, Morte Efwa Yaira, Odum Echampoma Mary, Opong Ferdinand, College of Art and Built Environment, BFA Painting, First Class, Alasan Abdul Salam, Ansong Safu Michael, Kujo Martin Akwete, Kwateng Eugenia Sariwa, Martin Bruce Joshua, College of Art and Built Environment, BFA Painting, Second Class, Upper Division, AJ Duke James, AJ Richmond, Amankwa Frank, Amate Fio Emmanuel, Amate Charles Amakai, Apete Lawson, Bando David Dompre, Boache Dankwa Kwesi Danso, Boate Nesta, Dodu Cyril Ni Ofe, Essien Robert, Foley Robert Kofi, Frimpong Kwame Esie Du Boaten, Kakari Jonathan, Mensa Seiram Kobi, Newman Amadole, Tufo Prince, Welbeck Emmanuel, We are Fida Linton. College of Art and Built Environment, BFA Painting, Second Class, Lower Division, AJ Samuel, Emisa Quay Isaac, Entry Caleb Brichum, Sam Sandra Sara, Taki Ade Daniel, Yeboa Francis, Yeboa Nanapoku, College of Art and Built Environment, BFA Painting, Pass, Yosin Thomas, College of Art and Built Environment, BFA Sculpture, First Class, Aqua Sandra Jani, Dutenya Ledian Makafui, Jan Enoch, Intre Abigail, Kwate Papa Fio Kwateboy, College of Art and Built Environment, BFA Sculpture, Second Class, Upper Division, Abwaji Shadrach, Ebob Mens Darling, Mensa Dakwa Prince, Zowunu George Kwame, College of Art and Built Environment, BFA Sculpture, Second Class, Lower Division, Ewa Daniel, Nyaku Obed Danso, College of Art and Built Environment, BSC Fashion Design, First Class, Alovo Irene Atachi Mandi Fafa Fianu Laurentia Erama Hoxin Sekina Insura Inketi Abigail Norte Austin College of Art and Built Environment BSC Fashion Design Second Class Upper Division Abu Bakar Isa Amano Ayeko Roda, Dake Angela Jifa, Donko Hana Ampofo, Ibrahim Hakim, Kranchi Enchua Ethel, Mohamed Mubaraka, Ousu Julia Asante, Ousu Nanekia Kwachua, Kwei Emma Naaka, Sam Sofia Ajuanya Meche, BSC Fashion Design, Second Class, Lower Division. Echampong Amphobia Candy, Addison Dennis Abba Anoa. College of Art and Built Environment, BSC Textiles Design and Technology, First Class. Kilsin Vera Oduma, Obrija Theresa Bentum, Ofori Manuela Bankwa. Seshi Marcelina, Bachelor of Art, Textile Design, Second Class, Upper Division. Adumaku Kweku Afum, 
ajaklu Michael amagache bleburubi selasi atinyo Joshua kwame Jesse Lydia Afrakuma Gentina Mutala Nyakpan Koko Elizabeth Kwejri Anita Eyakwa Nanka Bruce Claudia Na Kushi Na Comfort Oforiwa Kel Inkechia Johnson Odoi Na Jama Stacy Opombwahima Irene Oredu Emmanuel Parkinson Deborah Ann Wellington Odate Yebua Frank Bachelor of Art Textile Design Second Class Lower Division Adam Stephanie Amin Fozia Bachelor of Science Architecture First Class Agbozo Michelle Nakati and Sir Andrea Esiaba, Bachelor of Science Architecture, Second Class, Upper Division. Ababra Papa Kofu Nathan, Ado Joel, Aja Emmanuel, Akpalu Valerie Naki, Entry Sonia Ekia Efriye, Apia Mercy Sewa, Achu Kalin Benadin Jifa, Ewuku Leslie, Azu Frederick Mate, Wachi Ernest, Dansu Henry Kofi, Diara Ebubak Sidik Gislin, Dovlo Eliklim, Frimpong Derek Opong, Humphreys Barbara Dede, Kakari Daniel Kusi, Kamavo Salome Mawena, Local Frederick Charles Griffith, Mensa Arnold Yalginia, Ofori Kelvin, Opari Abigailasi, Opoku Ama Ajiman, Otu Nina Wan, Owusu Kelvin Kwame, Kweke Mildred Deladim, Kwate Papa Theo Henrita, Saki Jimaima Betty, Setoji Salome, Sintim Nana Dukia, Tay Abraham, Vanderpoy Clement, Videta de la Cephas, Bachelor of Science Architecture, Second Class, Lower Division, Anan Maxwell Akwete, Bonya Edwin Nana Amwa, Inusa Najilal Sani Lai Fibina Akwili Bachelor of Science Construction Technology and Management First Class Aga Collins Eli Bobby Wedam Wilfred Dankwa Smith Eugene Dramani Aremiao Hoji Edem Kobla Kote Martin Nikwe Jennifer Luz Mafu Nkuma Jeremy Nomoda Zakaria Jabano Bachelor of Science Construction Technology and Management Second Class Upper Division Echampo Michael Owahene Eje Konedu Elvis Adumfo George Joshua Akwete Emmanuel Ajete, Alidu Abdul Razak, Enyina Emmanuel, Apia Gabriel Ayesu, Esiedu Kwabena, Esumani Stephen, Ewa Piasa Kwejo, Banaman Menson Frank, Watin Prince Opoku, Daku Dokia Andrea, Enu Christian Kweku, Frimpom Benedicta Jinfua, Ga Esta Esinam, Inusa Abdul Hakim, Isa Abdul Latif A, Kumsun Edwin Sechi, Chebi Eyan Mary, Lawal Muhammad Danjuma, 
in cancer sako de kufi in siabu edu ewa ama amponsa oduo apolonia otrida ku daniel owusu benjamin owusu comfort yebua sani safia nasara sio albert rindolph sintim abwaji abena amwakwa thompson ebeneza jojo Walanyo Bismarck, Bachelor of Science, Construction, Technology and Management, Second Class, Lower Division. Emisa Felix, Bokwe Charis, Bruce Frederick Dadzi, Jaba Hanel Tete, Mawela Wisani, Nyano Michael, Bachelor of Science, Development Planning, First Class, Eduset Boateng, Akapo Ebeneza, Emisa Michael, Arthur Steven, Awo Loring K. Chiga Augustine, Bilson Edu Maxwell, Ganda Henry Jesse, Hakim Victoria, Intim Judith Anima, Kwashi Amanda Nkansa, Yenga Ophelia, Bachelor of Science Development Planning, Second Class Upper Division. Abubakar Iman. Eduko Ansbet Akaturi. Aduse Poku David. Afam Ransom Obeng Siao. Akron Ablan Edufia. Akuna Eugenia Fani. Amiure Portia. Amwa Benjamin. Amwako Frank, Amuzu Benedicta, Entry Danso Kelvin, Apia Benedicta Fosua, Apia Samuel, Asamoa Alfred, Asanti Emanuela Asumani, Asari Ureku Asamoa, Etia Hene Presila, Ayambere Christopher Atibila, Ayariga Abdul Rahim, W. Baba Kasim, Bwama Akwesi Kwatin, Bwampon Isaac, Bwatin Sandra Sewa, Kozima Ama, Krampa Ewe Kwa Mansa, Doc Eric Tambere, Donko Paul Courage, Dia Ruth, Amenike Paul, Fojo Mami Efwa Ajiman, Fos and Josephine Ewa Ifwa Aduma. Frimpon Arthur Derek. Frimpon Desmond. Jan Yao Inkitia. Kande Daniel. Madugu K. Victor. Mau Akosia Priscilla. Muhammad Osman. Obey Kamili King. Ofoi Brinkwan Amadoufie. Ofosu Priscilla. Ohemeng Steven Adubredu. Okai Kwe Steven. Oponkwatin Angela. Osei Isaac Educhum. Puma Lili. Salif Abdullah. Tete Amanda Enyunama Bra. Bachelor of Science, Human Settlement Planning, First Class. Alhassan Nuhu. Aisi Ekia Nsami. Kataku Enes Elinam, Konedu Rosemary, Kuma Elias Elom Kwabena, Tagnan Jeko Nchamado, Bachelor of Science, Human Settlement Planning, Second Class, Upper Division, Akole Anna Jatube Akosia, Eduba for Grace, Atogri Laki Samu, Amo Afu Wilson, Amo Afu William, Amo Wilda Brago, Amo Kwa Samuel Texan, Amponsa Edmond Senior, Ando Kissin Michael, Apia Dankwa Wendy, Arthur Bentum Kwejo Roland, Asamoa Claudia, Asante Gloria, Esuma Mary Adbankwa, Bwama Barbara Gifty, 
Daku Ebeneza, Deleka Mavis Abiba, Gonyui Isaac Nunana K, Gura Justice, Idrisu Fadilatu, Mensa Cornelia, Nyaku Ignatius Amwaten, Opoku Michael Kweju, Opoku Asari Godwin, Osei Frimpon Samuel, Osei Poku Frimpon, Owusu Veronica, Owusu Ababio Akosia Brago, Techi Bright Kwesi, Wombiogo Yinyam Maxima, Bachelor of Science, Human Settlement Planning, Second Class, Lower Division, Edu Mensa David Jr., Afram Wedi Ebenezer, Entry Agnes, Entry Boasiako Franklin, Bachelor of Science, Land Economy, First Class, Boachi Emmanuel, Frimpon Idrisu, Ganda Emmanuel, Kugle Nu Godwin, Ofori Kinsley, Bachelor of Science, Land Economy, Second Class, Upper Division, Abugri Evans, Achulo Yusif Abdul Salam, Adimazoya Atambuge Griselda, Afu John Bosco, Ejapon Michael, Edu Baba Wilson, Edu Mami Echia, Akeom Rita, Akparibo Lamisipoka Mary, Al Hassan Hamza, Al Hassan Swale, Amankra Opoku Gabriel, Amu Ellen Ochebia, Ankuma Kinsley, Esuma Asiedu Stella, Ewuja Benedict K. Achu, Jan Treko Kwame Edu, Houston Mami Ama Jesiwa, Kantiha Yakubu, Lavoy Wanda Cassius, Mensa Kwabina Junior, Otri Into Mante Kofi, Opoku Prempe Richard, Sewa Bewa Jocelyn, Chiniwa Akosia Barbara, Wood Maureen Efriye, Yebua Kojo, Yusif Salamatu, Bachelor of Science, Land Economy, Second Class, Lower Division, Efrifa Chinibua Dorothy, Kobinat Carlos, Jansa Kojo Ampa, Labza Gideon Kweju, Safu Kantanka Janel, Bachelor of Science, Quantity Surveying and Construction Economics, First Class, Amwakwaba Alexander, Dakupuku Kwame, Jesse Louis Asari, Kuma Victoria Mami Efriye, Safo Kwame Dupoku, Bachelor of Science, Quantity Surveying and Construction Economics, Second Class, Upper Division, Abenyeri Isaac Wese, Abudem Augustus, Aduma Kwabena Albert, Ahinkra Prince, Ameya Obenat Kofi Atiobi, Ampoma Rachel, Angu Nana Kobina Kisi, Anoche Gloria, Antuaco Felix, Bam Benjamin, Brefo Ebenezer, Dabo Kwame, Danso Michael Opoku, Duo Rina Francis Xavier, Fosu George, Ibrahim Mariam, Keja Osu Comfort, Kujoji Benadachu, Muhammad Patience, Odamte Benjamin Kwani, Oduo Samuel, Oparibe Du Kwabena Nyante, Owusu Emanuela Ejewa, Safo Kantanka Benes, Ribari Emanuel, Yalbert Andrew Tando, Bachelor of Science, Quantity Surveying and Construction Economics, Second Class, Lower Division, Ajay Edwin, Kumsun Derek Kofi, 
Bachelor of Science Real Estate, First Class. Entry Kwame Emmanuel. Wabing Derek Frimpong. Kwatima Comfort. Bachelor of Science Real Estate, Second Class, Upper Division. Abaya Kanupoi Clement. AJ Menu Edrina. Edu Benjamin. Ajima Ekria Fusua. Akulia Awin Sogra Solomon. Wafu Olivia. Habib Jamila Tu. Kuche Enes Selasi. Miracle Grace Ejebia. Ofori Osei Kofi. Osei Owusu Priscilla. Saki Joshua Kweku Pumi. Riket Jesse Jackson. Bachelor of Science Real Estate Second Class Lower Division. Abwaji Kweku Asamwa. Eje Hanana. Apia Nana Efia Owusua. Ewudu Abdul Rahman. Ayensu Derek Odum. Bwachi Derek Nana. Drowa Nana Ekua. Ekumosis Mensa. Haji Delali Sylvester. Te Gideon. Yako Emmanuel Kwamina. By the powers conferred on me as chairman of the Governing Council of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology Kumasi, I, Ambassador Nane Ifa Apinti, declare this assembly duly dissolved. Father in heaven, we give you praise and thanks once again. Indeed, you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. We started this graduation ceremony in your name and by your grace, thus far you have brought us. Even as we have come to the end of this ceremony, we want to thank you once again for all the investment that has gone into the lives of these dear students who have successfully completed their courses. We thank you for the lives of their benefactors and benefactresses. We thank you for all the input that this university has made into their formation and education. Even as they live here to go and continue to serve humanity, we commend them to you. May you fill them with your spirit. May you fill them with your power. May your hand go ahead of them so that they will continue to acknowledge you as their Lord and continue to rely on you and take your steps to serve humanity wherever they will be. We bless and honor you for what you are going to use these ideas students to do to enhance their lives of humanity everywhere they may be. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. TV Experience Educational Television.
the decision was taken to establish in Kumasi a college for the purpose of providing for studies and training in research, in technology, science and art. Today, this decision has materialized in the establishment of this magnificent university in the heart of the city of Kumasi, the city of Osetutu and the Golden Stool, the capital and the historical city of Ashanti. The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi, the second of Ghana's 16 public universities, is 70 years old. It is situated approximately on a 16 square kilometer campus of undulating land and pleasant surroundings about 7 kilometers away from the center of the city of Kumasi. The campus presents a panorama of beautiful and modern buildings interspersed with beautifully manicured lawns and tropical flora which provides a cool and refreshing atmosphere congenial for academic studies. In 1949, the Ashanti king, Sir Osei Ajman Prempe II, mooted the idea and offered land for the establishment of a college of science, arts and technology. To satisfy the now Sir Osei Ajman Prempe II, who was very adamant and insistent that the institution of higher education be established in Kumasi. Subsequent to that, a government ordinance on 6th October 1951 established the Kumasi College of Technology, now the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi. On the 22nd of January 1952, 200 teacher trainee students were transferred from Achimoto College in Accra together with administrators to form the foundation class of this new college, about 290 kilometers away from the nation's capital. Uh, we had been told while at Achimoto, but the government was going to open a new college. They had this uh, employed, engaged a chap, a German, called Eichenberg, a huge chap, you know, six-footer. And uh, he, I don't know what, what training he had had before. I know he was a good German soldier in the First World War. And uh, he came and started prefabricated structures to start the college. The college, which was headed temporarily by Lord Hemingford and later permanently headed by Dr. J.P. Andrews, was to keep pace with the rapidly changing world of technologies and keep the nation abreast with the rest of the world. But how was the outlook of the campus and the living conditions? The Bomsu roundabout area was the center of the college. The administration building was the building in front of the shopping center uh, where we have uh, BR, uh, BRRI offices and also the vice chancellor's office, registrar's office, accountants and so on. The present Unity Hall site was a maintenance yard. The hospital was where it is and uh, the present Africa Hall was a playground, hockey pitch, and uh, the housing, staff housing, was uh, Okodia Road, prefab houses, and that was the whole college. There was no pipe or water supply, there was no electricity, and uh, students had Petrobox labs. We had water cooler, a water filter, no electricity. Uh, and the place was full of tetra flies. KNUST became a fully fledged university by an act of parliament in 1961 and was established to fulfill a national expectation, teaching programs that were to be directly geared towards solving the problems of the nation. This university, therefore, has a unique opportunity for making a positive contribution to the development of Ghana by directing its attention not only to the production of graduates in engineering, architecture, building and town planning, but also by addressing itself to the investigation and research and into the problems of industrialization and agricultural development. In the same year, the university appointed its first black and Ghanaian vice-chancellor, Dr. R.P. Bafo, 
with the support of the government, the university underwent massive infrastructural development in his six-year reign, some of which were the faculties of pharmacy, agriculture, and some halls of residence. As fate may have it, the state of the political atmosphere in the country determined the rate of progress of infrastructure development and academic work in the university. Because we were not getting enough funds, the fiscal development of the university, which had been very rapid and extensive during the term of my predecessor, Dr. Bafo, um, had to be stalled because we had no money really to do what we would have liked to do. In the midst of all the challenges, the students never missed out on entertainment, sports, and other recreational and religious activities. KNUSC's strive to achieve excellence led to it being the first to introduce the semester and college systems in the tertiary education in Ghana. It was also the first to introduce the admission of less endowed students and shuttle services to enhance the mobility of the students. In January 2005, the university adapted the collegiate system to allow for greater academic and administrative autonomy. This system has metamorphosed over a period and resulted in the existence of six colleges and the Institute of Distance Learning today, the College of Arts and Built Environment. College of Agriculture and Natural Resources. College of Engineering College of Health Sciences College of Humanities and Social Sciences and College of Science. The Institute of Distance Learning of KNUST takes quality tertiary education to the doorsteps of prospective beneficiaries on out-campus locations. These colleges have a combined number of 18 faculties, 97 departments offering over 500 academic programs across various disciplines. The university has about 20 research institutions. In the past, the head of state was the automatic chancellor of all public universities in the country. This convention changed and in 2005, the 16th king of the Ashanti kingdom, Otunfo Osei Tutu II, whose predecessor had initiated the establishment of this university, was appointed the chancellor. Over the past one and a half decades of his reign in this capacity, the university has witnessed rapid expansion in its infrastructure. This, amongst others, 
has resulted in increased access to quality and impactful tertiary education for the youth of Ghana and other countries on the globe. This and many others account for the over 80,000 students in the university today. Since inception, KNUST has had three principals and 12 vice chancellors who have played varied roles in the realization of the university's vision. The current is the historic first female to occupy this position. KNUST continues to make giant strides towards attaining the university's vision of building on our leadership as a premier science and technology university in Ghana and to be among the top 10 universities on the continent of Africa with a focus on an all-inclusive education for the youth of this country and beyond. We leverage on contemporary technologies to improve our standing as a citadel of knowledge, where together with our cherished partners and stakeholders, we mold the brains of our students, the future ethical and transformative leaders of this country and the globe. 11 registrars have also taken turns at different times in the administration of the university. The registrar's offices continue to serve as the mainstay of the university administration, facilitating and coordinating the administrative machinery while providing appropriate guidelines for policy formulation and implementation. As university administrative structures evolve and systems and structures change, we have continually adapted to the evolving trends in the management of higher education to keep the wheels of Kenya West revolving. These efforts have thankfully been facilitated by technologies mostly developed in-house by this university. From the different phases of its existence, the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi, has grown into a very dynamic institution, producing an equally dynamic and highly skilled workforce dominating practically every industry in Ghana. The establishment of KNUST has not only resulted in the academic training and the provision of the country's workforce, but created huge business opportunities for people to reap massive economic gains. From hostel operations, to grocery sales, stationary vending, and more. The student life activities and academic work has been great due to management's constant effort in listening to student leaders and their plights, and also providing the available structures to be able to help students with our welfare, our academic work, and social integration. Collaborations between students and academic supervisors have improved the research work of the university. Graduate education experience in KNUST has been exceptional because of the readily available logistics to support students. From the initial establishment of Out Campus Takwa School of Mines and later the Faculty of Forest Resources in Sunyani, KNUST has facilitated the establishment of two public universities, the University of Energy and Natural Resources in Sunyani and the University of Mines and Technology Takwa. Currently, KNUST has also established and is nurturing a new campus at Opoase. 70 years on, KNUST is mentoring over 33 private university colleges and over 76 Ministry of Health training institutions across the country. From everything science, engineering, health, agriculture, built environment, humanities and many more, Ghana, Africa and the world experience the giant footprint of KNUST alumni. As we celebrate our 70th anniversary on the theme, 70 years of global impact, a new age for a renewed focus, we continue to maintain our resolve to make our products and all those who get this wonderful opportunity of training at KNUST amply ready and equipped for the world of work, not only as employees, but employers with the ultimate aim of improving the quality of life of the people we serve. At 70 years, students are excited about how far the university has come. Cheers to 70 years. Cheers to 70 years of Kenya University.
KNUST, 70 years of global impact, a new age for renewed focus. Tech TV, experience educational television.